I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? Not prepared for a woman? Well, I'm sorry to give you something in common with Donald Trump, but here we are, aren't we? And all I'm saying is you motherfuckers better let me eat my cupcakes this time. So I've probably talked about this on the show before, or maybe Noah has, but on election day of 2016, I spent the afternoon baking cupcakes. It was the most patriotic thing I ever did. I voted in the morning, then went home and baked red, white, and blue cupcakes in the afternoon so that I could use them to celebrate our first female president in the evening. And then hope died and joy withered and all the light drained from the future. And the last thing any of us wanted to do was eat a star-spangled cupcake. So they just sat there on the dining room table for three days until I threw them away. Y'all, he still lived with us at the time. And even then, the cupcakes just went uneaten. And those two dozen desiccated cupcakes have been a symbol to me of this nation's misogyny ever since. That moment I came face to face with the fact that this country would choose the least prepared, least intelligent, least moral person to ever head a major party ticket over a well-qualified woman. And because of that, we've literally rolled back women's rights in this country by more than half a century. Now, to be fair to America, most of us did pick the woman, most of us who voted anyway. We only got Trump because our system is literally designed to favor the worst of us. But that's the same system we're using this time. It's a system that was intentionally crafted to favor racists and bigots. And now our nominee is a woman of color. So, of course, we absolutely shouldn't let that get in the way of our nomination. If we decide our nominee based on their hate, then their bigotry becomes our bigotry. And we don't need to cater to their bigotry. We need to counter it. We need to hope harder than they hate. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not sure we can do that. In fact, I'm scared as hell that we can't. I was in the riding with Biden camp because old centrist white guy seems safe. And I think he's been a pretty damn good president. Harris seems more like the swing for the fences kind of candidate. And that only works if you hit the ball. But to be fair, from what I've seen over the last couple of days, I'm starting to think that she can knock this thing out of the fucking park. See, I first fell in love with Kamala Harris, as many of you did, during the Brett Kavanaugh hearings. He was in there dodging questions about Roe versus Wade like an agent in the Matrix when Kamala comes up behind him like Trinity with her dodge this line. She goes, can you think of any laws that give the government power to make decisions about the male body? And he stands there like a dog that just got caught shitting on the rug for a solid 10 seconds and goes, um, I'm happy to answer a more specific question. Then she gives him that the fuck you just say look and asks the question again. And the man withered before her gaze. And finally, he says, I'm not thinking of any right now. Of course, we all know the tragic ending to that story which is that the rapist gets to be a Supreme Court justice and he goes on to overturn Roe versus Wade and strip the right to the bodily autonomy from millions of Americans. But we saw what it looked like when Kamala Harris throws a punch and y'all, it looked pretty damn awesome. Now look, I don't mean to sugarcoat this. This is gonna be a hard fight. Sacrificing incumbency was a big gamble and changing candidates at the last minute doesn't have a great historical track record. But these are unprecedented times. So maybe they do call for unprecedented measures. All I know is that I'm going to do my part. We're going to volunteer time and donate money and bang the drum and get out the vote. And you're going to do the same. Because despite the devastating memories of 2016, I'm going to make celebratory cupcakes again in November. And if I don't get to eat them this time, I'm breaking out the goddamn hammer. <laughs> 